My name is Kari Topsy, and I'm a physical therapist in the Children's Sports Medicine Running Program. Today we're going to talk about finding the proper running shoe. Try on shoes in the late afternoon and evening as feet tend to swell throughout the day. Try on shoes with the type of socks you'll be using during physical activity. The shoe should be one half inch longer than your toe, wide enough for your forefoot, and snug in the heel. It takes about two weeks to break in a new pair of running shoes, so try alternating the old pair with the new pair. Arch height is not a good predictor of what kind of shoe you need. The most important thing is that the shoe is comfortable for you. When you're a little bit more sore than normal after a typical run, it's probably a good idea to replace your shoes. For most people, this is probably around six months, depending on how much you run. There are different categories of shoes. Motion control shoes don't let the foot move in any direction. It's not a good shoe for most people, and injuries are more likely to occur. Stability shoes help control pronation, which is the collapse of the arch. Pronation is not necessarily bad. The foot should pronate some when you run. It's a good shoe for most people. Cushion shoes offer no support or control, but help with shock attenuation. It's good for people with rigid feet who tend to land on the outside of their foot. Minimalist shoes may provide some cushion, but mostly allow the foot to move naturally. It may improve running form, but be careful transitioning into these kinds of shoes if you usually run in traditional shoes. Make sure you progress slowly to decrease risk of injury.